this video we'll be explaining briefly a method of developing ideas through binary thinking. The term binary itself means involving two elements. The benefits that I hope you can gain is getting a rich writing, avoiding biases, and making your writing activity a learning experience. So why a learning experience? Because this method demands you to explore further things that well we are not familiar before or things that we normally tend to disregard because they are not in our favor. Boundary thinking is a method that originates in the ancient era practiced in the East as well as in the West. In the East there is a concept called Yin Yang whose symbol you must be familiar with and in the West we know about this through Socrates and other philosophers from the ancient Greek. In composition, this concept can be found in Peter Albo's book, For our purpose in writing an argumentative synthesis here, we can define binary thinking as a method of developing ideas for writing by considering the oppositions. We tend to see oppositions such as night and day, sun and moon, male and female, as things that we cannot reconcile. However, following Peter Elbow here, I use the term oppositions only to mean that we are not stuck to one idea. We don't feel satisfied with only one idea, but explore other possibilities. And the easiest way to find possibilities is through finding the opposition. In other words, if we can come up with other possibilities that are not really in opposition, that's even better because that means that we are not stuck to just one idea. To make it more concrete, let us apply this method in developing a claim by our friend Zach. Zach claims that iPhone is the best all-round smartphone. Well, this is a valid claim in the sense that uh, it is debatable. For some people, yeah, this is right. For other people, this is debatable. This is unacceptable. For example, for religious Android users, wow, this is almost like a blasphemy. Zach supports his claim by saying Apple sales record always increases by the year. The customer reviews are amazing. The malfunction rate of any type of iPhones is significantly lower than that of any other smartphones. So these supports are basically supporting arguments. Now, uh, we are going to apply uh, the binary thinking method to develop each of these supporting arguments. So for the first supporting argument, Apple sales record always increases by the year. Normally, to develop this support or the supporting argument, we would try to find sources that confirm our supporting argument, such as this one. Apple sold 124 million iPhones in 2012 alone. However, with our binary thinking perspective, we then try to compare something else, something in opposition to Apple sales record. In this case, we're trying to find the closest opposition, which is Android. I found that Android phones of all type held 68.8% of the market share in 2012. That's amazing. Then uh, we will have to synthesize these two ideas. As a single brand, uh, iPhone still rules the market. That's our synthesis. However, Android sales statistics undeniably shows that more people prefer to buy Android phones. Maybe because there are more options to choose from. For the second support, the customer reviews are amazing. We can find sources outside that say how customer reviews are amazing and uh, to make it further, how iPhone's customers are enjoying their phones. Now we have uh, two points to talk about here. Customer reviews on Best Buy's website and Amazon.com are unshakable proofs of how much people love and enjoy their phone. And another fact is that uh, many musicians and artists use their iPhones in their creative work is a testament of how iPhone is a great gadget. Now, with our binary thinking, we try to find something that is something that says the opposite. Then we come up with this. Android forums, however, are also proofs of how creative people play with their Android gadgets and hack them 
so that these Android gadgets can do things that even their manufacturers, their creators, never thought of doing. Then, with these two contradictory things, we will have to synthesize. And the synthesis that I came up with is that iPhone's customers have found that their gadgets are very useful and helpful. However, to Android users, their gadgets are endless possibilities. That's what we need to do when we decide to use the binary thinking to develop our ideas. And we need to do this to the rest of the essay. So, after finding sources or facts that are actually not really in our favor, but enriching our essay, we have to revise our thesis statement. At the end of this project, you know a lot of facts about iPhone and why iPhone is a good smartphone. But on the other hand, you also know that other smartphones are great things for those who like different things. That's basically the idea of applying binary thinking in developing your ideas. So let's now review the benefits that we can gain from applying this binary thinking. First, we can present our arguments strongly without being biased. And another thing is that we as writers gain knowledge because we are here forced to explore things that we didn't know before. And the third thing is that you can feel proud of yourself uh, when you get the Christmas break.